I said I wasn't going to do another video concerning the, the boycott of the NFL, but it's necessary because it's too much rhetoric being spewed on social media. And, and, and sadly, it's being spewed by members that are living legends of the hip hop community here in the A. What's happening right now is now activists are being attacked because we're uh, standing up and voicing our opinion when it comes to those that have decided to cross this picket line. Shout out to Brother T.I. Tip, man, who at the beginning of the year said he wasn't supporting the league. Shout out to Andre Three Stacks, man. Uh, it's our understanding that he was approached about uh, being uh, part of the halftime show. And let me tell you what's funny here. You know, there are plenty in this industry. Let me rephrase. There's a few in this industry that can stamp what I'm about to say. I've been pushing for ATL artists to get on board and get together with this activism, hip hop meets activism for a couple of years now. Way before this Super Bowl thing was sexy. I ain't seen now one of y'all. I'm one of the rare, when we're speaking about fake activists out there, no names were called. And I do know it's directed to one particular, well, let me rephrase. I do know that one particular individual has been engaged. But they are basically putting a blanket on activists who are against them participating in the NFL. There are people out here that say, well, wait a minute, let them use that platform. Well, if a fox invites a hen into his house, it's going to be under the rules of that fox. You ain't getting ready to do nothing so radical because you are under contract. Let's keep that gangster now. It was really pissed me off is because I'm one that's rare, man. And I don't even speak with my chest out, but I'm one that's rare that continues to deal with these families long after it's been in the media. That continue to push long after doors are shut in our face. I ain't seen them major artists other than Tip. And don't get me wrong, some folks do things behind closed doors. I understand that. But when you get on this soapbox because of a contract that you have signed that will put money into your pocket that goes against the will of the people right now, that's a problem. If you want to take your money and, 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 and do what you want to do with it, so be it. Don't be out here sprinkling bad Aura and energy on folks like myself who spend my life dedicated to the upliftment and liberation of our people. I can't help that with some who have signed on board, it has made me question the whole era of music that I grew up to. Some of the most conscious folks are now signed on during the biggest boycott collectively since the Montgomery bus boycott. Fake activist, my ass. Ain't nobody called my name, but this is a vein that I'm in, and it got to be defended. Just because y'all want to watch the game, man. Hey, look, do what you do, and let us do what we do. The problem is when we meet, when we clash. So I ain't going to sit up here and watch and read artists from the A. And this ain't meant to be combative, bruh. This is supposed to be unison. Divide and conquer works so sweet. NFL, salute, hats off to you. All you had to do was sprinkle a little money. Don't let this shit cause a generational divide. And ironically, it's the younger generation that is on board. It's the younger generation that doesn't understand why more older cats out here ain't, ain't don't have their boots to the pavement. So it was a great strategic method to go get a 26 year old Travis Scott who I had to ask my uh, uh, youngest son about him. I just don't rock with the music. Not that I don't like, you know, I'm not dissing the man. I mean, I just don't really know that much about him. But it's wrong to cross that picket line. If you truly care about the upliftment and the liberation and the salvation of people of color and black people that look like you, people who, who don't have certain advantages that are in a lower income uh, 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 category, that get the blunt force of the criminal, ju criminal justice system cracked over their head on a daily basis. If you don't understand that each NFL team is worth $3.2 billion and it's 32 of those, so you do the math. If you don't understand that, that the league is made up of 70 plus percent black folk, if you don't understand that black folk get the blunt, like I just spoke about, of this criminal justice hammer over their head, if you don't understand that we are targeting the ownership to invest legislatively, to invest in programs, 
other than that 89.3 measly money that we did get last year because of this movement that they're stealing from breast cancer awareness. Some of y'all out here talking don't even know what you're talking about, man. And to you ATL artists, Kendrick Johnson, Baby Boo Boo, Ariston Waiters, uh, 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 Anthony Hill, uh, uh, I could go on and on, on and on, uh, uh, Nicholas Thomas, we ain't seen now one of you. So who in the hell are you now to talk about who's fake and who's real? Hey man, I said it before man, the A has cracked this foundation. We too much on this Hollywood shit homie. So there might be some folks amongst activists that are absolutely in it for uh, other reasons. But I ain't that one. And I'm also one that's been talking to individuals trying to pull the hip hop industry of the A together. Trying to spark it where the A would do a concert of stop the violence and stop the foolishness. It ain't associated to some damn NFL. And then challenge other major cities to do the same. Y'all ain't been receptive to that. Have I come out and blast folks for that? No, because I'm still steady trying to, to, to operate in the spirit of unison. But when y'all are jumping on these social media sites, dogging out activists, and I ain't seen hardly a damn one of y'all, man. Y'all need to take a long look at that mirror, homie. It's too much shit going on out here, man, for us to be uh, uh, segmented. It's too much power that we have and too much influence that we have for us not to use it collectively. For the record, man, I could give a damn what JD does at this upcoming, leading up to the funeral, uh, leading up, excuse me, leading up to the Super Bowl. And this should be gangster. I think I mentioned three sacks earlier. I understand he turned down the halftime Super Bowl. It wasn't until cats like myself, even in the mix of this protest, started saying, how in the hell could they not even consider artists from the A for the halftime? Even though I wish they wanted them to turn it down, as some did. But what they done done is throwing you Negroes a bone. They done put you on the outside of the damn dome. Put you on the outside of the Mercedes Benz Stadium, which is a whole gentrification project in itself, when they ain't even got the damn halftime show field for artists. They done gave y'all niggas something leading up to the Super Bowl. And everybody say, hey, wait, they're going to have a message. Well, if a, if a fox gives an invitation to a hen to come into the fox house, that hen is going to be operating under the rules and regulations of that fox. You ain't getting ready to do some message that is going to uh, uh, breach your contract, homie. Man, just watch what y'all talking about, man. This shit is too serious, man. And again, this is a reaction to all the plethora of things I am seeing about activists who are protesting this Super Bowl and this NFL. Find your foundation, man. We the home of Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., the home of the birthplace of the civil rights movement, man. Reverend Orange, Hosea, you know, there's a list of others, man. Represent your city, homie. Do the right thing, homie. Sacrifice a little because it'll go a long way. All power to the people, man.